I got a present from my friend Reagan. Reagan is 11. She's 11. Reagan and her sibling and her parents are hopefully moving to this area pretty soon. We've had them in videos before, actually. They live in an Airstream together. We met them on the road traveling, and they actually walked the property with us the day that we got it. What is it? A scarf? Oh, you! Is this crocheted? It smells great. Reagan, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. That must have taken forever. a long time. Did you teach her to crochet? Or did she crochet no, she knows how to crochet all on her own. Girl, what do you think? Yes, girl. I fun. love it. Thank you, Reagan. We just went on a long walk with the doggos. Baron, once we got home, started up the car and said he's going to the post office because he apparently got me something. We so rarely get each other gifts. Two gifts in one day. It's like it's my birthday or something. I opened it just to make sure it was the right thing. Where did you, you got these on Amazon? Mm -hmm. They're in the cart on Amazon. We're also never gonna buy these for myself. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> what inspired you to get these for me? I don't know, it was one day when you were just like moping around <laughs> and I was like, I just gonna do something. <laughs> and I knew you would never do it. And it would just rot in the Amazon cart or something. <laughs> I've been comparing the price of these to the things that I'm considering getting that we need, like dog food, and I should get dog food instead of these. They're mountaineering glasses, like the dopest mountaineering glasses, because I'm a mountaineer. Mm -hmm. We do live above 8,000 feet. Baron has an Oakley pair of mountaineering glasses, and he said that they help him with all the wind out here, too. Let me see. I was kind of hoping you'd hate them, and then I was just thinking. <laughs> Dang, these are so nice. They look cool on you. We sold these at a sporting goods store that I worked at in Kansas City. Really? At, uh, at Jewel Bow, or at uh, Backwoods. These are Jewel Bow Mountain yeah. Heritage. Yeah, but I was like, there's no reason for me to ever have these in Kansas City. Whereas here, it makes sense. But yeah, I really do think you'll like, because they're like goggles, mm -hmm. where all the wind is blocked out and then um, the light can't get in except for through the lenses. I was one of those kids that had to wear goggles playing soccer. So you're back. Well, to get rid of the goggles, because they were so heinous, my mom found these plastic glasses that had tails around the ears like this. Yeah, it is bringing me back. Do they look as cool on me as they do on you? Uh, yeah, probably. You make everything look cool. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> These baskets have been so nice and they fit so perfectly in our funny little closet. They're collapsing baskets and this wire thing gets pushed out all the time, which makes the basket collapse. So I had the idea to take some of my leather cordage and hopefully sew this into place. That's the goal. Oops. Very simple. Now I'll do this to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine more times.
What's going on here? Packaging orders. Are you sold out? I think I might have one silver bracelet left. One of these left. All the rings are sold out. Even all the wander rings are sold out. That's awesome. Yeah. What else are you excited about today? Baron ordered us an espresso machine. Which is kind of bittersweet because I'm trying to lay off the caffeine a little bit. Like I'm drinking decaf coffee right now. But I don't see why I couldn't make espresso shots with decaf coffee. True. Then we could drink it all day long. I don't want decaf. It's stupid. It doesn't even have a point. It does. The flavor. Mm. Experience. Mm. It doesn't make me feel alive by any means. <laughs> My temper. Mm. Oh, buddy. I just ate a shit ton of that roast. It's even better the day after. Shop revolutionaries, we can then get a different one. That's all our dang water. What in the world? It's leaking everywhere. This is, it just like spazzed and Read starts. The I did look, and they're freaking pictures. It says fill it up, press the button, and it will leak five mil 500 milliliters. Oh, then just... make espresso. These are directions. I just saw these first three and thought, okay, cool. Yeah, Got there's it. four and five also. Is it good? It's good. That's gonna be so dangerous. I feel like we need raw milk. Yeah. It's pretty bitter. Well, I, it's espresso. So I think, I mean, I think it tastes great for straight espresso. I don't usually drink straight espresso. Normally we Americanoize it. Yeah. I forgot to get milk yesterday again, so we don't have any. We get raw milk from our neighbors. And I have forgotten for the last five or six weeks. Happens on Thursdays. For some reason, Thursdays are busy. I've been buying the dogs these pre-made balanced packets of raw dog food because camp is almost 10, he's getting old, and Pilot is a puppy and her joints are developing and everything. She's actually been on half kibble, half raw, because she's huge. I've been buying these since we were in the A-frame because it's a little hard to work with so much raw meat when I don't have a sink to clean up with. And 
frankly, it was just easier. But they ran out of that and we don't get the next shipment of it for about a week and a half because I messed up. So I'm just gonna make them some balanced dog food and I've been meaning to for a long time anyway. This recipe is from the Forever Dog, though I'm kind of making some substitutions based on what they had at the grocery store. That book is full of all kinds of awesome information about dog health in general. Within this pile, we have carrots, carrots and eggshell. I just needed the carrots to help blend. Sardines, eight pasteurized eggs, spinach, a mixture of cooked broccoli and red bell pepper and ginger, hemp seed, and beneath all of that, are these frozen cubes of liver and heart that we saved when we processed the deer. Now I'm gonna add the beef. Okay, oh, I forgot the kelp. And some seaweed for iodine. Was the recipe for 10 pounds of meat? It was for seven, so I added a little extra. See, there's all the liver and the heart, that red stuff. So it's predominantly protein in the form of this beef, muscle meat, eggs, sardines. Sardines add the omega-3s. There's the fiber in the vegetables. We have the secreting organs, the bone. I don't have any like powdered bone, so I'm using eggshells and that provides the calcium. Okay, I think that's pretty well mixed. And these carrots, they're soft. Otherwise I don't think that they would digest them. Camp eats once a day and he's gonna get about a cup and a half. Pilot eats twice a day, so I'm gonna give her about two cups right now. Now I'm just gonna fill these bags with however much pilot and camp eat at one time so I can thaw one of these and it's enough for both of them for each meal. Come. So is that only five meals? No, I think this is gonna be quite a bit more. Like is each of those bags just put one to a day? This is probably two pounds. This is one pound. Okay, Violet. This is one pound. This is probably two pounds. Two pounds would actually be, uh, that'd be enough for both of them all day. No kibble. Hi. Just a couple updates before we end the video. We're in sort of a limbo on the house because we're working with a new solar company and we're still deciding on all the different appliances and stuff that we're gonna go with because we've totally had to switch gears from like hyper budget oriented design to what would this look like if it were a dream scenario design. So that's exciting, but it's taking time to get all that figured out. We're also recording my audiobook. The will be released at some point. It, it's really hard to read my own writing because my brain just spins up in a thousand different directions and yeah, it's kind of difficult. What else? We're gonna start building our own couch, so that'll be fun. And then all of our cabinets and stuff, but the cabinets kind of depend on what solar kit we go with again, so. But couch we can do soon. So yeah, we've just been spending a lot of our time at home hermiting, like going to town maybe once a week and just enjoying our time here. Yeah, it's hard to find things to film because it feels like our life is boring, but we've been loving it. We'll get going on some exciting things here soon, but for now, we're kind of chilling and just enjoying the house. Am I in it? Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye! Should I chest bump you? How's no. your rib? It's okay, but not. I don't want to chest bump you. <laughs>